We work at a very large scale. We put something like 4,000 students through our courses every year. One of the things we really focus on is kind of how can we work at that scale. This is really where our undergraduate TAs come in. You might have this going on, this going on, but like, I'm sure you So I have 795 students. I have 40 TAs right now. You can't do that at scale. They have responsibilities like teaching a quiz section of around 20 to 22 students twice a week. So that's their kind of smaller group structure. The TAs also do grading and provide feedback. They're interfacing with individual students a lot more than I am able to. And in my experience, the design of the bunch of vaccines. We spend a lot of time thinking about how we can best equip those TAs to create a good experience in their sections. We want to make sure that all of our students get a roughly equivalent experience regardless of which TA happens to be the one teaching their section. Go ahead and just line by line grade it, um, put in annotations, feel free to reference the wiki. To so we have a whole level of TA middle management. As many as 12 or 13 veteran TAs in various leadership roles. We ask for a submission number. Um, we as the instructors kind of function in like an executive capacity. We're setting direction, we're setting philosophy. We're making the big picture decisions, um, and we meet weekly with the leads to kind of talk through those things. Like kind of a packed day, but a lot of the work is going to be... Andrew and I, the CSE12X TA coordinators, are overseeing about 100 TAs, and that includes managing everything from our large community meetings to TA trainings for the new TAs. Being a TA coordinator essentially entails managing a lot of the administrative details that come with running such a big ship like Intro. And I think the training part is really the most important part about being a coordinator. It oftentimes has these active exercises where students will interact with like, you know, sort of student actors. They sort of help them navigate what it is that they're expected to do as a TA in light of some of the very, you know, sort of wild circumstances they might run into in Intro. You go to lessons and then click on TA training. I think the biggest way that TAs are sort of supporting this effort to you know, broaden education is through making the field of computer science look a lot less intimidating. And typically TAs are people that have just they themselves taken 120x you know, a year, two years in the past. I really like that model of peer-to-peer -peer education. There's a sense of seeing someone who's like the same age and pretty similar experience and seeing how they've grasped the material and they are confident in it and they're happy to pass on their expertise in that to the students and giving them their best studying advice. I'm a student just as they are and I like to frame my role as someone who is a friend, someone who they can approach and I try to make myself available to TAs um, whenever they have questions and offer advice.